Welcome back to Recap Central. Today I'm going to explain a horror movie called Evolution. Spoilers ahead. Subscribe for more videos like this. Nicholas is a sickly young boy who lives with his mother. One day while swimming in the sea he sees what appears to be a young boy with a starfish on his chest. Nicholas quickly runs by the shore to report his discovery to his mother. His mom goes diving and brings the starfish but she tells him there wasn't a dead boy there. Back at home Nicholas is given a slimy meal. And his mother gives him medication. Nicholas asks her what sickness does he have. She explain all the boys on the island have to take the medication because their bodies will change and weaken as they get older. All mothers on the island are seen gathering something. They head towards the shore. Then Nicholas' mother brings back the dead body. The rest of the mother ather around her. The next day Nicholas is playing with a starfish. A boy mocks him he gets angry and attacks the boy. He later chops off one of the starfish arms. After this outburst his mother takes him to a hospital for an observation. A doctor injects a yellow liquid into his stomach. Nicholas must spend a night in the hospital. He sleeps in a ward with many boys who have had a similar procedure. They question what sickness they have. At night we see nurses who are watching C-sections being performed. The next day Nicholas is released from the hospital. He starts suspecting the nurses and his mom are lying to him. He goes to his friend Victor. And they sneak out to see what the mothers are doing. On their way Victor gets scared so he runs home. Nicholas continues walking to discover the truth. When he arrives he is very surprised. He sees the women lying together completely naked. Riding in the mud and passing an object from one to the other. He immediately runs back home. A few hours later he peeks at his mother showering of the mud. He observes she has what appears to be suckers on her back. At the hospital Nicholas is given an ultrasound. To his mother's apparent joy they hear the heartbeat of a fetus. Nicholas is taken into a room to spend another night while waiting for the surgery. In that room he meets other children including his best friend Victor. That night Victor is operate on. After the operation a creature is taken out of his stomach and put into a jar. Victor dies during the operation. The next morning Nicholas asks the nurse where Victor is. She lies to him and tells him he is recovering. One of the nurses brings a conch into the room saying Victor sent it for them. Nicholas' mother visits him and brings him food but he refuses to eat it. She gets angry and starts looking through his sketchbook. Nicholas accuses her of not being his mother. She tells him to obey his mother. Nicholas gets sedated and they take away his drawing book. Nicholas develops a friendship with one of the nurses Stella. She seems to like Nicholas. Stella sneaks in crayons for Nicholas to draw. He draws a dead boy and a starfish. But also a giraffe buildings and cars. Stella tells him a secret. She shows him pictures of women with suckers on their backs. Including one of a young girl. That night she takes her to the sea and shows him the suckers on her back and lets him touch them. She takes him in the water. However they stay too long underwater and Nicholas passes out. Stella immediately revives him. One night at the hospital he sneaks into a room and sees a boy. When he goes closer the boy puts Nicholas' hand on his stomach and he feels movement. The boy forces Nicholas to push on his stomach and he vomits. Scared Nico runs away. He enters another room. Inside there is a boy floating in a tank. Just then a nurse catches him and he is taken to surgery. After the surgery he awakens in a tank. He is in restraints in the tank are what appear to be two babies. He gets shocked after seeing them and faints. When he wakes up he is by the sea with Stella. They enter the water but this time she presses her mouth to his and gives him air to breathe underwater. When they come to the surface, they find a boat. She makes sure Nico has water and slips back into the water. Most likely to return to the island. Nico stays in the boat and by that night he reaches the harbor of a big city. Now the explanation of the movie. The story takes place in an island where only women and small boy live. No adult men or small girls live there. The women have suckers on their backs as they are some sort of humanoid. Water-based life form. They are the result of the evolution of starfish. They can only reproduce asexually. They form a zygote and introduce it externally in the boys. The boy somehow can host the babies. 
After a point the fetus is removed and grows externally. If the boy survives the fetus is placed with him in a tank while they are still connected. The women give the boys medication every day to prepare them for the fetus. We can assume the boys are stolen from cities and taken to the island. The dead boy Nico saw at the beginning of the movie. Probably tried to escape and the women kept it a secret. We see the women sliding in the mud and passing an object. This is a type of reproduction ritual. After the ritual they produce zygotes which are then injected in the boys. We see the humanoids watching C-section footage. They aren't good operating and many boys die. At the end of the movie Stella who loves Nico decides to save him.